All right, Tubesters. And two bits. So now we're working on the donk. I'm putting on inner and outer tie rod, steering linkage. I got new shocks for the front. New railroad shocks. Uh, stabilizers. In other words, we rebuilding the whole front end. Upper control arms, lower control arms. It actually comes with all new bushings and ball joints. Brand spanking new. Uh, save the work of trying to take them off, clean them, paint them. So we opt out this way. And for the price, man, we couldn't beat it for the price. We couldn't beat it for the price. Less work. I think the uppers was maybe 70 bucks and the lowers, or vice versa, the lowers was 70 and the uppers was 60. But, you know, just to be able to have that new bushing, ball joints, nice, clean, painted. Hey, man, that was well worth it. So, all I really got to do is take off the old stuff take off the old uppers and lowers steering linkages we're going to take all of that remove it all at one time uh, finish painting the frame cleaning it painting the frame undercoating of course you know we got to go with some we got to go with some brakes to be able to stop this thing because man we got a nice Nice motor, what um we putting together for this one, and I'm still thinking about raffling it off, although the rim lady want to get it. I'm still thinking about raffling it off. So we got these puppies here. We got these new uh six pistons. Six piston calibers for the front and uh, four for the rear. I'm thinking about throwing these puppies on here, man, with the big 14 inch rotors. Of course, we're gonna get some new ones. These things here is a little, they came with the package deal. They're a little wore down here on the edges, so too much of a lip to turn again. So we're gonna grab some more 14 inch rotors. That's the other uppers. Y'all think I should get this bracket and throw these on here? Six pistons for the front. Boy, these things look like big bananas, like my boy Round say. That deal came upon right after we got these. So we did get some wheel woods, painting them up to color match, match on the car. So I'm thinking I want them six pistons on here, man. And I either paint these and put them on the K5 or, hey, I may just raffle them off. I may just raffle them off and uh, call it that. But we gonna see here so the next thing is getting all of this front end stuff here off. So we'll be able to put all of the new stuff on. And we've been going back and forth with colors. Colors, 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 colors. Of course, you know, we got the rose gold wheels so we're trying to put together some colors that's going to look good with that um that light teal i love that peach i really like that peach that stuff is hitting there what y'all think about that about that peach and that teal or pineapple. 
pineapple into you. We can also do salsa. Woo wee! Boy, that salsa hitting. That salsa is hitting. It's a brown. Look at that contrast. Man, there's just so many colors that we can play off well with it. Even the blues, the burgundies, the reds. I really digging this peach. I'm going back and forth now with um with the rim lady about colors. Of course, you know she want this vehicle so bad. So I'm about to call my guys up at Impact. And um, y'all know the Stitch by Slick Leather just dropped, right? We got that one in. So we're picking out colors for the 71 Don't. For the 71 Don't here. Oh, it's coming together. We did the um, the rose gold on the front of the grill. Rose gold bezels, turn signal bezels. So it's coming together, it's coming together slowly but surely. This is part time work so. But next is to rebuild this front end, make sure the steering is nice and tight. Put all these uppers and lowers on there. Y'all know we went with the Mamanis, the Lazaros, rose gold with the chrome lip. So I think they're gonna look real good on there. We did the back concave with a seven inch lip. They showed me some love on it. Y'all know the rim lady working. Hey, that's about dead on that, man. We finna try to get all these old parts off, clean it up, get the wire brush, get the work. And I'm gonna be back in a minute or two later on.